Welcome. I'm Dr. Steve Monroe, your host and advisor for Business Performance Brief. At Monroe Business Performance Group, we found a need to provide insight into better workplace performance through short informational videos like this one. Today's topic is three lifelines for problem solving customer requests. This discussion is for the new retail person still learning about the products they sell. These are tips and tricks I've learned over many years of selling and training new hires in retail. To the retail manager, feel free to share this video at your next new hire orientation. I'll begin with a story about a less than positive customer service experience I had not so long ago. I needed to send a small envelope containing a thumb drive with training material on it to a client. So I went to our local small shipping office rather than the post office. I like to support local business. I rarely have any issues when mailing out of this particular business. That wasn't the case with my thumb drive. All was well sending it until it returned stamped insufficient postage. Thought I got off pretty cheap when sending it. Now I know why. I went back to the shipping office. I showed the individual behind the counter what happened. They had no clue what to do. The manager wasn't around to ask, so they suggested I go to the post office for help, meaning, yeah, the competition. In the end, it turned out the lack of postage was due to the bulkiness of the envelope containing the thumb drive. Later, when walking away from the post office, I wondered why my local small shipping office didn't know what the post office knew. They should be the experts as well. In retrospect, I think I should have suggested to the individual at the mailing shop that they use their three lifelines to problem solve my situation. Let me explain. Many game show aficionados can tell you that game shows with a single contestant attempting to win the big prize is given access to a helpful resource they can use at any time to increase their chances of winning. As I understand it, this Helpful resource like lifelines or call a friend is designed to ensure players don't bug out if they feel like they're going to lose it all. Now, borrowing from the game show model of helpful resources when everything is on the line, I instruct customer professionals lacking product knowledge do the same. When everything is on the line standing in front of the customer, ask a friend, ask the audience, or ask an expert show you how this works. Ask a friend, or in our case, a co-worker. They should be the first person we check in with when attempting to problem solve a customer's difficult request. If you don't know the answer, don't guess or attempt to make stuff up. I've seen people on the counter do it. It's not pretty and it never ends well for them or the customer. So, ask a friend, the co-worker. That one's easy unless you're the only one on the floor in the store then you might want to ask the audience. To ask the audience relative to our customer service scenario on the counter means ask the customer. During the early days of my sales experience, I didn't have a lot of knowledge about our products. Whenever my coworker or manager weren't around, I'd ask the next best person who should know, might know, the customer. I learned more about the products I sold by talking to my customers. Yeah. I played the new guy card in an attempt to save face and garner some sympathy from the customer, but more often than not, the customer would run with it. They'd help me out. Customers were a great source of information. However, if you have a customer who's actually clueless, and honestly, many of mine were, I would ask the expert. Asking the expert for those of us selling products to our customer means to call the vendor. I can't be the only one who spent hours on the phone with a vendor problem solving product issues for customers. While there are good vendors and some not so good vendors, there's still a good source of information. Additionally, using vendor catalogs would sometimes offer the customer positive results. Believe me, I use vendor catalogs frequently and often. Okay, look, this isn't rocket science, we're not NASA. Faking knowledge in front of the customer will only cause trouble. However, asking for help by asking a friend or your coworker, asking the audience, your customer, or asking the expert, the vendor, okay, that might feel demeaning in the beginning, but you learn. You learn what you didn't know. 
and then you're able to become your customer superhero next time you need to answer that same question. All right, I hope this helps the next time you find yourself in trouble in front of the customer. Believe me, this works. Good luck. Happy selling. If you like this video, please take a quick second and click the like button. Do click the subscribe button if you'd like to get more insight from other business performance briefs like this one. Thanks for watching.